G'day mate, welcome to Factorio with me, Jedi. So, this episode, this episode, um, well, this episode we're going to keep launching rockets as fast as fast and light drives get delivered. At the same time, this is the only project that matters. Um, I want to get this finished. I want to get this up and running. Uh, we need this up and running. We still need to put in the blue circuits. We still need to put in all the green circuits. Um, this is six lanes of reds, so that's going to require... What? Six lanes of greens. This is another six lanes of greens. These are like a lane of greens each. Blue circuits is going to be 30 lanes of green circuits, roughly, give or take. Plus, it's going to need some red circuits as well, which is going to mean more lanes of green circuits. So, today's episode, lots and lots and lots of belts. But with that said, let's run the intro. So, with that out of the way, I'm not launching any supporters. We're not wasting any time doing that. Um, one thing we are going to do is we're going to start manually crafting speed module 4s from speed module 3s. Uh, just the same as we've done uh, up here with our efficiency module. Uh, wrong one like that just as we've done with our efficiency modules um you're requesting that that well, I just get increase the increase it's like 200 uh 50 uh because we stopped making beacons because we ran out of speed force at the same time I'm going to remove that because I don't think I want that on there and I'm going to double it, because this chest holds 960, roughly, and if we go to this build that we've partially put down, and I do a blueprint of the whole thing, we can get the beacon count in the top left-hand corner, which is 2.7 thousand beacons. Buffering 960 plus whatever we saw in a train is not nearly enough, so we're going to start buffering an awful lot more. Uh... We have zero speed modules in stock, which is a great number, by the way. I love it. Uh, logistics requests. Uh, we have lots of those. We have lots of those, and we have none of those. Uh, what's the story with blue circuits going the network? Blue circuits goes the network here, and that's all backed up. You cut. There, we're going to put there, there, and there. Have that. That should chew, like, all the blue circuits. It is prioritized to go to this thing first, which is... Probably excessively buffered just a little bit. Maybe we just remove one of those and change that to an active provider so they all go away. Uh, pick up 1.9k. Boom. None left. Okay. Uh, okay, so now we have lots of blue circuits in the network, which means I'm going to do the logical thing, and I'm going to come to do, 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 these builds up here that should eat any spare circuits they find in their network. And... Oh, crap. They already had speed module sixes. Oh, it's an inserter problem. Oh, shit, we can fix that. Oh, can we? Okay, we can fix that, but we're going to be smart about it. And we're going to go from uh, that inserter to that inserter. From that inserter, just in case it matters, to that inserter. Boom. Hopefully, that fixes any problems. At the same time, we do need to grab this, find yet our next solar panel section, and have it upgrade. In theory, we have it made. No, of course we've made some. 
Of course we've made some. Even though I've capped this at like 10,000, 1,000, some stupid ridiculous number, it's still over crafting because we're making accumulators way faster than we're making solar panels. Uh, which means you need to be hit with an upgrade planner. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we've upgraded that. That's going to go about as fast as it can. This is not... So this is designed to make efficiency modules. And if you've got way too many efficiency ones and efficiency fours, they get kicked out to here. Maybe that needs to be set to 60. And you have none. Well, the idea is you back up and then the excess goes in there and whenever we have excess efficiency modules they look like they're disappearing. Do we just not have if We don't have efficiency modules. Meh. We got a train down here that delivers them. Uh, yeah, we got a train down here that delivers them. Um, I'd li I'm still arming and arming about upgrading this. I I I'd recover a bunch of modules and a that's about it. Uh, and currently we don't have the beacons to do anything about it. Oh, and I did have somebody, somebody down in the comments, mention that I didn't do any smarts last episode. So I need to make up for that by doing smarts twice this episode. Okay, and we're going to use the smartest thing there is, a programmable speaker. With a signal. Uh... Programmable speaker. Uh, if that is greater than zero, global feedback. Uh, actually, we'll set it to no. We'll set it to green. Drum kit. Surely there's, there's, there's something way more annoying than that. Sawtooth! No. Oh, that's annoying. That's super annoying. Okay, so if red is greater than zero, that alarm is going to start ringing. And that's what we're going to call our sparks for this episode. Uh, where's my delivery train? Uh, actually, you're probably not running. You've probably filled up everything. Uh, oh, yeah, that's super annoying. Super, super, super annoying. See? Great, we did some smarts. Uh, so that's going to remind us whenever the train's up here and we've been hearing that sound for too long that maybe I should go up here and manually tell the train to come down. Uh, at the same time, we obviously can't have just one lot of smarts. We need to have two lots of smarts. So we're going to put another one down here. Where the hell's a speaker? Yeah. Can I hook up a wire to a thing with ghosts? Didn't think so. Okay. Uh, we have cleared out all the trees. The trees are at least done. But as you can see, there's a few things flashing because there's a few things still missing. Uh, okay. You get hooked into a red wire from there to there. We're going to do if red is greater than zero. Alarm one. That should start coming off. What? Read signal. It's broken. Green. Oh, it's happening a green signal. Oh. 
Okay. You're not. Uh, programmable speaker. We wire that into there. We say if red is greater than zero, arm two, we're gonna turn the volume way. No, actually gonna leave the volume up on there and that way I can walk away, cool. And I can't remember if I global feed playback for that one. I did. Okay, so this one we don't want global playback on, so if I walk far enough away, we don't hear it. That's the important thing. Okay. So, red circuits, green circuits, uh, what are you missing? You have unloaded all your beacons. You've unloaded all your speed modules and speed modules and beacons. And that was never set up. Uh, we want that goes to there. We want you to do those things because it turns out there's a lot of those missing because they never got unloaded from a train uh do i want to send you off now or do i want to wait uh let's send you off now and then if we hear that alarm for too long and we get frustrated with it that means it's time to call that train back because even though it's set to 10 seconds worth of inactivity we're making a speed module at least once every 10 seconds so they keep popping back up okay so we need a blue circuit what are they nope that's the first revision that's the latest revision uh these are done in a set of four yes okay uh, actually, let's do that again with your inputs and your outputs. Uh, like that. Because I know for a fact we're going to want to modify this heavily. Okay. God, that's annoying. Okay. Nope, I can't do it already. Go away. Okay. Um, this is why there's there's actually a command, there's a console command that disables all of those map wide because they were implemented and yeah. All right, so first things first, we're gonna wanna feed in green circuits from the top side and blue circuits out the bottom side. I just think that's gonna be the easier way to go. That gives me more routing room. Um, it also means like these two are gonna be for obviously this green circuits. Uh, these two are gonna be for this green circuits. Uh, potentially these two for all these green circuits or maybe I do green circuits on the side and feed them up and around. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I definitely know I wanna bring blue circuits out the bottom so that's the first thing we're gonna do. No, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do them both at once actually. And I wanna feed green circuits in at the top. So this is how we're feeding green circuits in. We're gonna take that and we're gonna feed that like so. Which means that goes away, that goes away, uh, that goes away. You are gonna come to there and then you go there. So that's green circuits in from the top. On top of that, I'm gonna want, hang on, you go away, you go away, you go away, and all of you go away. On top of that, I want a, so I want that one, which feeds into there. I want that one, which feeds into there. And then I want, that one which feeds into there and the idea is purple belt is i can take this far enough up that that becomes my first feeding of well, potentially I can move the belts this far back to feed in all the green circuits. So one comes in nice and close, one comes in from far away. On top of that, I've got a red circuit, it's gonna be fed in from the top as well. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna remove all of that. 
Uh, okay, I want to put that there. I want to move that to there. I want to move that to there. No, I want to bring you out. All the pipes go away. All of that go away. You can go back to where you were. So I want to bring the blue circuits out the bottom like that. Ah, uh, well that goes away. Okay, so f before I go too much further, let's get rid of that crap. And that crap. And you, you, and you, along with that crap. And then this is the one I'm happy with. So I'm going to paste that down four times. And that's going to bring my blue circuits out to the end. On top of that, acid. So, if I move you to th that side, I should be able to put in something like that to do all my acid. And have a trunk line across the back that does all the acid for me. Uh, that was wrong. So that means I've got an acid pipe here that's just going to trunk along and do all of them. Yes. Yes. Okay. And we already know... No. We already know that we definitely need to bring in red circuits on the right-hand side of the build. Uh, of this belt. Because we're going to... Import red circuits, output blue circuits, and the blue circuits are obviously going to be on the left-hand side of the belt. Okay, so that becomes build number one. Now, if I go to this, we can see you do the grand total of 14. Massive numbers, big numbers, super duper numbers. If we look at this build, which is a complete build, run max rate over that, we can see you do three. Uh, 3.48 multiplied by 12 of the damn things is 41. So I need to do 41. Divide 41 by three is 13.92. And you do 14. So three builds are required. Boom, pasted down three builds, done. Ah, uh, yeah, they're going to take a while to build. And, you know, we have no speed modules and the story of my life. Uh, but, you know, th th they're pasted. That's that's half the job done, right? Um, okay, so the next thing is I need to look at, again, this build. And say you use exactly 11, we'll call it 12, 12 red circuits. 12 red circuits. Now, one of these builds, one of them, singular, does 16. So we need 12 multiplied by 3 is 36. Uh, and from memory, th ooh, if I press the right button, uh, 3 of these is 36. 49. Two of these is 36. What? Okay, run all that mass again. Because now I'm confused. I was sure I had a good number. So I have 12. Uh, 12, 24, 36. So I need 36. And you do 32. So I need three red circuit builds. Damn. Uh, so we need that. And you push red circuits out the right hand side. You take plastic in the left hand side. Uh, along with green circuits. So we're going to dump that right there. Uh, we need one of them. That train is. 
Oh, it's back. Okay. So, red circuit build. Which is going to need plastic. And I blueprinted this up here with the intention... Well, I, I, I built this blueprint with the intention of doing plastic. And then hoped I didn't have to do plastic. And we can swap it over to acid. Which we do need to swap a certain amount of it over to acid. But it looks like I need to do a certain amount of plastic as well. Which probably means I'm going to have to tap that coal. This coal's technically... Probably further away. I'm going to have to tap a certain amount of this coal and bring it up. And run it over here. To do just the plastic required for this. Which is one belt. Which is five refineries. Oh look, I, made, I did the maths already. One, two, three, four, five... Okay, let's go. Let's do the logical thing first. Let's grab you, put you right there outside robot range. So we're going to have to go for a jaunt. Uh, and then I'm probably going to have to build some sort of robot network all the way up so the belts get placed. Yeah, there's, there's wildlife. There's lots of wildlife. Let me through. Let, let, let. Better. Uh, power pole. Power pole. Robo port. Sure, right there in the middle of the coal patch. Uh, no, that's good and hooked up. We're going to go dead straight line up to there, which I need to make sure is going to be inside the robot network. Uh, okay, we're going to put a substation out here with another robo port. Cool. Go north. Find the next bit of not inside construction range. Over here somewhere. Cool. Uh, put down one of them. Uh, and there's a tiny bit there. Which should now be in range. Yes. Okay. So then we're going to route the call through a few of these. Okay, so probably the easiest thing is going to be find that belt, run coal into the front of this one. And then out. Sure! Because I make my life easy. Um... Here is I think we could just run straight into that one and be done with it. Okay. I don't see a better option. That goes to there, which then goes to here, which then goes to here. You guys are getting beacon coverage good, which goes to there, which then wiggles its way out and in, which then goes, ah. Uh, in theory, that reaches. Oh, it does. Uh, into there. Okay, so that's that plastic done. We want to grab our awesome little belt config. 
And we want to go there. 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 And there. I haven't hit a power pole with any of these belts in a while. It's almost like I started planning this crap out. Uh, I don't think that belt needs to be purple speed for coal, but you know, we'll just assume it doesn't have to be. And if it does, we'll just throw an upgrade planner at it after the fact. Okay, so that gets me to there with coal, which then obviously has to come down. You guys still need copper. Uh, how much copper do you need? Very good question. Is that train empty? It's not technically empty. It is unloading a lot of belts. But it has no beacons. Do we have beacons up here? That's probably a better question. Uh, 86, 89, not really. Okay, uh, what we're doing, we were trying to work out how many three of these guys need in the way of copper. Uh, three of you need for 23 copper, which is that much. Yes. Uh, which we might as well. That seems, oh. No, that does not at all seem logical. All right, if I run the copper down the outside, and then back up through the middle? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So let's put... That there. Let's remove the belts we don't need. We're going to run you this way. Into that build, into that build, into that build. And then I'm going to run you... Uh... Yes, except we'll slide you down a tile. Okay, so it's copper hooked up. That's plastic, which needs to go to the right. I'm actually surprised it's already running, but you know. Um, that's copper, which is going to need so many mini me's set up still. Uh, we might as well put a radar down here somewhere. Cool. Uh, oh look, more more wildlife. That's what we like to see. Rows and rows of tree stumps. Okay. Um, what's next? Get more beacons and start blueprinting in green circuits. A lot of green circuits. Um, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Green circuit build. They are really, really boring easy. But that's okay. It's sort of what we like. Oh, oh, and an acid build. And a low density structure build. And a steel build. It's just a few more small tweaks that need to be done. Tiny ones. Tiny ones. Itty bitty nothing. Just take just a moment to get them done builds. Okay. Let's start. So you're designed to take in green circuits and plastic here two sides of the belt doesn't matter which one's the which it just needs to go in which i like and it's one green circuit build per red circuit build because that's how they ratio it out so it's one two oh 
four, six. That's actually not that bad. So not that bad. We're actually going to slide it up higher. I slipped. Did that? It did. Okay. All right. So green circuit built, which then comes out in an army of undergrounds. Uh, let's... Okay. Let's start at this end. Maximum. Back one. Back one, back one, back one, back one. Okay, first belt, second belt. Third belt. Fourth belt. Fifth belt. Sixth belt. Okay, plastic is going to be more interesting. So I have... Why are you guys not running yet? Coal goes to there. Coal goes to there. Coal goes... Where's the rest of the coal? There, to there, to there. Oh! Okay, but you've got coal. Why do you not have a... I have a feeling the whole blueprint's off by tar. Or two. Um... 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 I didn't even realize at the time. Because I thought I lined it up. That looks really lined up with me, but obviously has missed every single oil somehow, which is like a miracle. Import string. Like you're lined up to train tracks and all sorts of things. How can we miss the oils? Okay, I need to stop getting rid of that out of my hand because it's sort of painful to get back. Does it go there instead? No. Does it go there? No. Oh. Yes. Yes, it goes higher, much higher. Uh, trim all that out. Uh, trim that out. Trim that out. Trim that out. Fourth time's a charm. I broke the robot network. That's why they're complaining so hard. Okay, that goes there. Yeah, I still somehow missed the end of it. And you go back there. Oh, hang on. Does that mean I need to move red circuits and plastic? No, it's fine. You can stay there. Yay! Now they're landing on top of oil. Yay! Okay. <sighs> Alright. So the idea... The idea we have, and it's a horrible idea. The idea is we've got two belts of plastic coming out and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put plastic plastic no i'm gonna have to put one belt yeah let's okay let's just get this shit done uh plastic
actually... No, because you have one... Yes, you have one set of green circuits per belt. Okay, so that won't work. Never mind, I'm thinking to myself and... Yeah, okay. No, I'm need to get start getting plastic in, in uh, green circuits on these. Okay, so you're going to have a plastic and a green circuit. You're also going to have a green circuit and a plastic. You're also, also going to have a green circuit and a plastic. Uh, you... Same story. Yep. Okay, so if you go there with just go away, that's that part, that's easy, okay? Uh, we get rid of that, we get rid of that. Okay, then you bring the plastic belt down, which then gets fed in... I guess that's not too bad. Not too bad, he says. Lying to himself. Uh, actually, if I put a purple belt there to there, I can then put a green underground. It's worse. We're going for maximum wastage of belts, but I don't care. It looks way neater. Okay, I have no idea what I'm going to do with the second set. Okay, so that goes away. That goes away. Why for you not output... Whoa, train. Uh, that's coal. That's coal. You don't have petroleum. Why do these not line up? Oh shit. That doesn't line up at all. It looks like I copied an east west one and put it in a north south one. Because refineries don't rotate properly. Oh, all my hopes of getting stuff done this episode dashed by shitty blueprints. Which means that has to slide up. Which means that needs to go away. You. In there. In. Oh. Really, it's still off by tile. Uh, shitty blueprints or shitty designer blueprints? That's the real question. Okay, so now that one's fixed. Hopefully I can find your pump jack lines up like that. Which means all that gets slid up a couple of tiles. Uh, your beacons go to there. You actually line up. You should have oil. Okay, why don't you have plastic? Coal, 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 coal. coal that belt okay you line up 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 and you line up yeah so it looks like I tried rotating these two and it just led to bad things happening because you can't rotate pump shacks because reasons reasons um okay so Next on the list is trying to get plastic into this one, which <sighs> I 
guess. Uh, I do need to do that, I think. I think I need that sort of speed on plastic. Okay. Uh, you're going to have the exact same thing, which is going to go there to there to there. Oh, boy. Terribly straight lines. Uh, which is then going to come still with the straight lines. Uh, okay. So that's that done in theory, which then means you need a feed in of two resources. Uh, you are the iron side. Are we doing iron close or far away? We're doing iron far away. We're doing the copper close. Okay. So... That goes from there to there, which then means I copy that, I line it up with that one, and I line those two up with that one and that one. So that becomes a copper belt, which down means I need one of you guys. Uh, preferably if I can get this in a dead straight line, that'd be awesome. No. Alarm's still there. That means that train's been sitting there for probably too long. All right, run that belt back there. It is in a dead straight line. Send you off to go do things profound and thrilling. We'll change that up. We'll change that up. Train's off to resupply. You shall do... Shall do iron. Okay, iron and copper. Yes, I definitely wanted to put a whole group of undergrounds in a dead straight row doing absolutely nothing important uh i think we're just gonna grab off that one which means we find one of them oh look it's more wildlife uh can you tell i'm australian i'm about to kill the wildlife before it kills me okay so we're gonna bring that belt oops that belt down we shall then underground from there to there. That'll produce your iron that you need. The copper also needs to go into that smelter, which we need to now reverse all of these. So, one of them, uh, actually with, one of them, okay, now how much copper exactly does, one, uh, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, I already did the maths and said you output how much? You output per second 36. And you guys use per second uh, 21. So I got 15 spare. 15 spare. And I'm running how many smelters here? 
18. Uh, so basically I just need to come with one of these, run this over here, wait till I get to 18 and then add the two numbers together, which is 20. I don't think I have enough copper. Okay, can squeeze that in there and I can do that. So that gives me 39. It also means I really need to use both sides of the belt. Okay, how much does that give me? That gives me 24. Okay, so I now have a total of 39 copper. And I'm running... 18 of them being 20 plus I'm running so I'm running 20 and 21 which is 41 and you'll give me how much 39 it's not gonna be enough it's not gonna be enough it might be enough for right this second but as things kick in a gear it had run out it's not gonna be enough long term so it actually means you get a dedicated belt. You go back to how you were. Uh, that gets trimmed off. That gets trimmed off. Mini me's get put back at the front. And we do another one of those. Can I remove that large power pole? Yes. Uh, and we run that copper belt with that copper belt into there so you get your own dedicated copper for just red circuits uh no many means when i show up nope it's on the network okay so that's that build done in theory i've done all the hard work you're taking copper at that end you're also taking copper at that end. So apart from some messes, some copper belts, that should go there. If I remove that, uh, and that. Oh, shit. What the hell? Undo, undo, lots of undos. Oh, that's got the smelter at the bottom. Never mind. So you go there instead. Okay, so then we trim off that shit, that shit, all of that shit, that shit, and that shit, with that shit. Okay, so that's all the... Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Okay, you guys definitely need to be moved up higher. Actually, you're going to be fitting for the top as well. Oh my god. I can't even copy and paste shit. Because the green stickers are going to be fitting from the top. Yes, it's the sound of JD being defeated. If I put that there, that's going to orientate the belts to be fed in from the right hand side. Sure, it's less than ideal, but let's go for it. You, Rare Report, you're officially in my way and pissing me off. Crap, I also got to get eight belts through here. Alright, maybe the substation was important. <sighs> Shit. Um. Okay, let's just look at things. Alright, I need to get... Many belts of plastic. Okay, that all goes away. 
You were an absolutely useless waste of my time. Uh, that is all useless as well. Okay, I need to get... Why do you not have plastic on you? Why do you not have petroleum? Oh, good. You're also not lined up. Awesome. Yeah, that's definitely off by a tile. Uh, and then none of that shit fits. Look, I'm just gonna... I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm defeated. I'm just gonna put a single pump jack there with its modules, please. Thank you. And it's just gonna have two pipes. I'm just gonna be done with it. And we're just gonna hopefully overcome it by doing more mining productivity. All right. So I need to get bell to green circuits. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bell to plastic. All right, what I do over here So if I just do what I did here, I just run the green circuits in and we'll just underground the plastic to where it needs to be. That is probably my easiest answer. So that means you underground into there, you underground over the top. Uh, you go into the first plastic build that doesn't exist, uh, the first green circuit build that doesn't exist. You go into there. You go there. You go there. You go there. You come down. Uh, it's a... One of them. And then... The next one would be in that tile. Uh, you go over and in and in and in. So in theory that belt goes straight through there. In theory these three belts continue down to the next lot of plastic, which is... Oh. What? Bad biter. Bad biter. Uh, it does make me look at the length of the episode and go, Crap, I really ran out of time and did not get anything or everything or even close to what I want to get done done. <sighs> okay, what the hell? So you've got two and then you've got one, two, three, and the idea was to bring the belt down and up. And that failed. Uh, because I built everything backward by just taking the belt from where I could see it and not looking at what I'd already done. Because I didn't pa check on what past JD did, because past JD is normally a... Um... A putz. Let's go with a putz. Past JD is a putz. Uh... Okay, that goes away, that goes away. So that fixes that plastic problem uh, you're in that tile, so you're in that tile. <sighs> yep. Uh, underground, there to there. You go that way. 
Uh, you're the last one of the belt. So you go in there with that and that. Okay, I want something that looks like that, and I want to put it that way one, one tile. And then I want something that looks like that again, and I want to put it that way one tile. Probably without all of that shit. Uh, splitter there, splitter there. Starting to look about right. That goes in there, that goes in there, that goes in there. That comes down to there. That goes into there. Okay, so that's one. That's two. That's three. That looks like it's running. Um, and I don't want to end the episode with the green circuits not at least blueprinted down. So we'll grab... No, we will bring... Oh, shit. I was meant to get copper in here as well. Sure, sure. I'll just magic that shit up. Uh, we're going to just assume the substation stays. We're going to run you to you to you to you to you. Yes, okay. Then if I copy that monstrosity. Oh, that so doesn't work. All right. If I copy just that part, uh, you need a tile to turn in. I guess I could put it there. Sure. All right, belt one, belt two. Uh, belt three. Belt four, belt five, belt six. Uh, copy some straight belt. Okay, boom, 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 boom. And then that just leaves a substation that got ripped up, obviously, in transit. Uh, we need a copper, which is going to look like that. We're going to put one there and one there. Your copper, which is convenient. Okay, and... Purple, 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 underground there to there because you're also copper uh, all right so that's copper hooked up uh, you're all outside robot range fixed uh, your iron we copy one of those and you know what oh okay well, turns out we're gonna put it there so that should cover everything and that should be the iron line i hope uh yeah you go into those smelters which go that direction uh that's a substation we're done we're done we've got you running and you running you're not touched um, but with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Obviously, I'm probably going to go do red circuits off camera. This one up here. I'll do green circuits next week. Uh, we can send the train with its smart speaker that doesn't really work um, back to base. Uh, what the hell was that train? All right. Uh, at the same time, I do need to do that really quickly and read some names. So... We ended at 56. Uh, so we have Stephen Love, Larry Cotty, uh, Cheeseless, Kevin Hinton, uh, Wolf John, Matthew Forsey, Tiberius, John White, uh, Matthias Copen, uh, Start, Start, and Start. Okay. Uh, Tommy Denton, Daniel Santigo, Michael Patish, Stop.
Tadex. Uh, oh, that's Stu. I remember Stu. Uh, Jolson Menderos. Uh, Dario Pen uh, per Perigen. Perigene. Uh, Zoros. Uh, Oz Arakibi Blocks. Uh, Nicholas Kyle Zuz. Uh, Munchen. Munchen. Uh, Sean Richardson. Lucas Lenner, Cabba uh, Baba, uh, it's like Hubba Baba, but that's chewing gum. Uh, William M. P. Per Perina, uh, Stephen Shafter, and Karun Tustrigus. Sure. Uh, that's where we're going to end this episode. Obviously, tomorrow's going to be a recap episode. So, we'll get th through the recap episode. I will, like I said, hook up this to its own red and green circuit. Um, we are definitely short on beacons. We are definitely short on modules. We're definitely short on life and all things good. Uh, these guys still need to be swapped over to acid build. Mm, no. I'll do that on camera. Um... But yeah, I'm going to plug this in at least. At least this, which is designed to take green circuits and plastic in this side. And I ran that to that side because I'm an idiot. In fact, red circuits come out there and they go on to... No, they go on to that side of the belt. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to get this hooked up at least. Um, so we can at least say all the red circuits are done. And then, yeah, next week we'll have to be, I guess, trying to... Finish blue circuits, get all the green circuits laid down, get low density structures and blue circuits. Technically, this needs blue circuits as well. Maybe we could just siphon off one of these builds. Um, all hooked up and hopefully producing some damn train, uh, some damn fast and light drives. But like I said, with all that said, I'm definitely out. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially Adam e Evans for also clicking that subscribe button. Also getting their intergalactic uh, spaceship. And with that said, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Bye.